So in the last video, we did drums. Uh, we went through, I made some adjustments with the percussion in between, just added some stuff to the percussion bus, nothing too crazy. So uh, we'll start with the room mics in this one, and then we'll move on to the bass. So we have two sets of stereo room mics. They're both on the front of the stage pointing out. Let's just take a listen. So this is one set here. Uh, so I just kind of went in. There's a lot of low end that gets picked up, so I just kind of filtered a lot of that out. Filtered out some of this low mid. Some resonances going on there. And there's some, like, real... Get rid of that, too. So it does an okay job of picking people up singing, but not the best job. You can hear a little bit in there, but it'll give us a nice room sound along with everything. So this is the other one. It's pretty similar. This one has a little bit more in this area. So let's listen to those along with the drums. So on the room bus here, we'll go in and bring in that Amec. The thing that's nice about these is they have some uh, stereo controls down here. So we go ahead and make all the low end mono. We can bring up the stereo width a little bit. Throw a little more saturation on there. Bring up the real airy stuff. Cut some more of that out. The other thing I like to do on the room mics is put on F6, which is a dynamic EQ. So I'll just kind of pull the range down for all of them. So this will just kind of even it out during different moments. If there's more low end or more top end, it'll just kind of... And then I'm gonna add, uh, add Soothe on here. Soothe is kind of like a resonance tamer. I like to have it a little more selective. So that's just kind of filtering out some weird frequencies, just making it sound a little bit more clean. You especially hear it in this mid-range area here. It's subtle, but um, we'll use this plugin a little bit more on, you know, different in uh, different scenarios. So once they kind of all kind of get together, it makes a big difference in the overall final mix. Um, and then we'll go ahead and compress this, the SSL bus compressor again. So the compressor will kind of help it. You can hear the vocals are really sticking out in those mics. We mix pretty vocal heavy in the room on Sundays just because we want people to be able to sing along. That's where I kind of see it compressing the most when uh, Casey, who's the lead singer on this song, he's kind of going up a little bit more. Um, it'll compress a little bit more and this will help some of the, in the lower moments, you know, little uh, singing parts or a little just noise and whatnot. It'll help that kind of stand out a little bit more. And then we'll go ahead and send this to the room verb. Make that sound a little bit bigger than it is. All right, 
right, so let's listen to that with the drums. It's probably too loud. sounds pretty good for now we might adjust that level a little bit later on as we get further on in the mix so let's start bringing in the bass so we have a bass and a sub bass that was kind of done in pre and post production let me get somewhere where we're not building with our SSL channel strip. Do a little bit of compression here, drive some more saturation. regular channel EQ. That's where the mud is. It seems to be like lacking in this middle area here. We'll take out some of the real low end. Let's go ahead and add some saturation. I like this plugin from Plugin Alliance, Black Box. So let's go ahead and compress that now. I'm going to use the CLI 3A. It's kind of my favorite compressor for bass. So that just helps it really kind of even out everything. to just the bass and the kick together, see how they're playing around. So they're pretty even, I'm still getting a nice amount of kick. Uh, I have a sub underneath me here, so I'm just kind of feeling that out a little bit. The low end on both of them seems to be complementing each other nicely, so it's not feel the low end of both of them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the base and we're gonna do like a base dirt channel. So I like to put some kind of distortion plugin on here, the yellow drive. All right, 
And now we'll go in and put an EQ on it. Filter out the low lows and the real top end. And then what I like to do is kind of smash this with a limiter so it kind of So it just kind of stays the same way the whole time. And what I'll do is in quieter parts of the song, I'll go in and actually just cut the distorted bass out when it doesn't need it. I'll kind of do that later on when we're finishing up the mix. So just kind of blend that in a little bit. So you can hear how it just adds like another layer there. It's not, that's the bass by itself. And with that dirt channel in there, and then in with the drums. Let's see what the sub bass is doing. So this is kind of a weird... I'm not really liking that stuff that's going on in there. I'm gonna filter out most of this. Kind of want more just this stuff. Just to complement the real low end of the bass. So that limiter just kind of helps us get a little bit more solid low end. So on the bass bus, I like the Poltec style EQ. We'll do the uh, boost and attenuate trick. I'm not gonna do anything to the top end on there. the SSL comp. Those are sounding pretty good together. I think that is it for the bass for now. Again, all of these mixing and changes that I do here as we get further on in the mix and start adding more things in, we might come back to certain things and adjust them. I can already tell there's a little too much sizzle on the snare, so we might address that at some point, especially when the guitars come in. So we will move on to the keys in the next video. After that, we'll hit guitars and then vocals and final processing. So I will see you guys in the next video.